Welcome to Going Going Gone Raw. Raw. I'm Cynthia Vendati. Next to me is a famous raw chef, Bilay, voted best gourmet raw chef 2010, chef of the celebrities, and now with us. Yay. <laughs> and I have the lovely Cynthia. She is so dedicated to the raw food movement, and she's just completely passionate about helping others with beauty and with health. So what are you going to feed me today? I'm going to feed you some Tex-Mex chili. <gasps> So how do I make this? Well, basically we're going to make it in four parts. We're going to make a mock sour cream with, with these ingredients right here. Then we're going to make a soup with these ones. Mm. And then the mock beef, this will be like the bulk, the meatiness of the chili. And then last but not least, we're going to put the vegetable contents. Nice. And, and we're going to mix it all up in this nice mixing bowl right here. And voila. Nice. So yeah, so let's get started with the sour cream. Okay. So first we're going to put the coconut meat into the blender. And now we're going to add the cashews. Lemon juice. Put the salt. The water. Last but not least, the proteolytic probiotic powder. Yeah. Now we're going to have to stop this and use the spatula to scrape the sides and get it more evenly in there and then continue to blend it so that it processes and blends evenly and gets creamy. Yeah, perfect. If you could just hold that up. We'll pour the sour cream into here. After you've blended it, you put it in a bowl and you leave it at room temperature and you let it sit for about four to six hours. Basically, it depends on what temperature the kitchen is that you're using because it culturizes based on the temperature. Like usually a regular kitchen, it takes about four to six hours. Once it has a bite, like sour cream taste, then you know it's done. So we're going to just take this and set it aside and culturize it for later, but we already have some to add to the chili. So uh, Bee Life, tell me how to make the soup. Well, basically, it's really simple. We're going to use our blender mm -hmm. and we're going to add all these ingredients right here. First one we're going to add is sun-dried tomatoes. Now these have been soaked for an hour. We're going to use the blender, preferably a high-powered blender, diced tomatoes, shallots, yellow onions, and we have some fresh garlic, Himalayan salt, smoked paprika, coriander, cumin, or cumin, <laughs> some dried minced garlic, or garlic powder, onion flakes, these are also dried. Here comes the agave. Agave, or agave. Some ground mustard, Olive oil, the cold pressed olive oil, of course. The coconut or apple cider vinegar. Here's the chipotle. Sun-dried tomato water. And then last and definitely not least, the water. So now we are going to pulse this blender eight times to blend all the ingredients but to keep them chunky at the same time. Okay, so we're gonna do four pulses and then I'm gonna let you know that a pulse is just turning it on and off. If your blender does not have a pulse button, which is just basically just turn your blender on and off eight times. So we're four times into it, we'll do four more. There we go. Yum, that smells so good. Smell that, Cynthia. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Mm. <laughs> I can eat it right now. It really, right, really, right now it would taste really good. But oh. it'll taste much better once we finish. So let's go ahead and make the meat. So we're going to put some hemp seeds. These are high in omegas. 
and they're a superfood, high in protein, they're amazing. Now hemp seeds have been soaked for one hour and then rinsed very well. Always rinse your hemp seeds very well and do not soak them past an hour because they get this really funky bitter taste. And if you don't soak them, they're bitter as well. So if you, if you soak them for an hour, you'll get rid of the bitterness, which well, is really awesome. that's good to know. Yeah. Buying some more of that from now on. Yay. Sunflower seeds, soaked sun dried tomatoes, they've been soaked for one hour. The Himalayan salt, the black pepper, and the chipotle pepper. Thank you. Okay, oh, so that yeah. looks great. So, how long mm. are you supposed to pulse that? We're going to pulse it until it has like a ground beef texture. Ah, okay. Yeah. Now I'm going to scrape the sides, take this off, scrape it, and so it can get blended and mixed more evenly. And you don't want to blend, process it too long because then it'll be more like a pate or something, you know, it won't be like the ground beef texture that you want for your, for your chili. It's getting close. I'm going to do, I'm going to scrape the sides one more time and then pulse it a few more times, and yeah, we're getting close. See how the seeds are now starting to, to uh, blend into it? Yeah, totally. I think we're good. Take the mock meat, add it into the soup. This is gonna be the meaty part once again. What about the other ingredients? Are we gonna also add it? We are. Right. If you don't mind bringing them over, okay. So we can add Should them I as add well. It? You know what? Just go ahead and add the ingredients. Got the corn and the tomatoes, and now we got the portobello mushrooms. This looks fantastic. Yeah, it's really good. You're gonna love this. I know I do. It's been a big hit. And put the shallots in, or otherwise known as green onions. So and now, very simply, we're just gonna mix it all together. We want it to be chunky. Yeah, so that, see? Meaty, that looks amazing. colorful. Now can I feed you some? Yes. And see, it's not so soupy that I can't serve it with a spatula. That looks great. Now we're gonna add a little dollop of the sour cream. The sour cream. Just use your spoon since you're going to be using it to eat anyway. Oh, look at that. Isn't that good? That looks awesome. Now let's, let's have you try no, some. Let me Make try sure you get it. some sour cream in there with it too. Oh, I have plenty of oh, my spoon. Oh, you have your spoon. That's right. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Give this to me. <laughs> oh my goodness. There's enough for me here too. This is <laughs> the best chili ever. Yay. Mm.